Hi, it's Hannah Rankin here, the WBA and IBO world champion, and you're watching Sporting Icons. Okay, so Hannah Rankin defended her WBA and IBO super welterweight world titles against Terry Harper. Terry Harper, of course, moves up quite a few weight classes, about three weight classes, I think it is, to take on Hannah Rankin. This was always going to be the boxer versus the puncher, from the most part. If Hannah Rankin was to land a couple of good shots on Harper, of course, we've all seen that knockout that uh, Terry Harper had. Um, that still haunts me, that one. Uh, but... Terry Harper, we know, is a very, very good boxer, very good puncher as well at times. And that's pretty much how this fight played out, in my opinion. I thought Terry Harper was like a jackrabbit all night, in and out, in and out, in and out. And in the very first round, though, she reddened the left cheek of Hannah Rankin. So she was landing some pretty good shots very early on. And in round number two, a cut appeared in the corner of the eye of uh, Hannah Rankin. But... I don't know whether the cut was bothering her or it was just the speed, the the fact that Terry Harper was maybe a little bit stronger than maybe Hannah Rankin presumed. But Terry Harper, she won this fight very, very comfortably, in my opinion. I only gave Hannah Rankin round number seven, if I'm being honest, where she did actually catch Terry Harper with a very, very good right hand. But of course, she ate one herself at, um, at the end of that round as well. But I felt that uh, Hannah Rankin just edged that round could you give her another one? Maybe, maybe, but not until late on. I felt that Hannah Rankin gave away the first five or six rounds way too easily, way too easily. And I could hear a coach early on saying, we, we knew this was going to happen. This was going to be the game plan. But I felt that once you get past five rounds, if you didn't win any of those rounds, then it's, it's going to be Terry Harper's fight. All she's got to do is just win one more round and just be, be on her bike. But to the credit of Terry Harper as well, though, it's not like she just threw a jab and move, threw a jab and move. No, she was actually going in there with some big bombs to land on Hannah Rankin as well. She was going in there to rough her up. And Terry Harper done fantastic. She done fantastic. Now, both of these girls are absolutely lovely. Um, Hannah Rankin, I met her only a couple of months ago here in Newcastle with um, her little pup. Of course, we did an interview and everything. Lovely, lovely girl. Uh, Terry Harper, of course, is as well. Steffi Paul, her uh, trainer, manager, it's weird that it, even though he's not on microphone or anything, he seems to be louder than the commentators. He's permanently uh, shouting at Terry, shouting the instructions and almost goading Hannah Rankin in that as well. You can see that, that uh, you know, he was trolling um, Dennis Hobson in that. I mean, Dennis Hobson must feel like his world had just fell apart after this one. But it was always going to be Terry Harper just moving, moving, moving. The question was, can she go all 10 rounds without getting landed on by Hannah Rankin? Maybe she's going to gas out with that extra weight and all that kind of stuff, but didn't really appear. I mean, she certainly slowed down, but again, you know, and that is natural. Of course it is. But I felt that Terry Harper won this fight very, very comfortably. So congratulations to Terry Harper. Moved up multiple weights and become a world champion, exactly the same as Tasha Jonas. So maybe we can see that rematch with M2 for the unification in the super welterweight division. Drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you next video.